dark side of womb cleansing, Hindu nationalists radical new initiative. The Hindu merit, excuse me, let me start over. The Hindu paramilitary organization, the RSS, has launched a new initiative to instill cultural pride and virtue in children still in their mother's wombs. Uh, some Yardhini Nyas, a subwing under the women's wing of the RSS, organized an event in New Delhi where they urged pregnant women to teach their children cultural pride and the importance of the country from the earliest stages of pregnancy, even as soon as the couple thinks of conceiving. Most of the audiences were gynecologists and Ayurvedic doctors. One doctor speaking at the event claimed that Garbha Sanskar, or virtue in pregnancy, could help prevent autism and other disabilities at birth. Another encouraged women to engage in womb cleansing, which they claimed could be done by reading Sanskrit and performing Gita Path or reciting verses from the Bhagavad Gita. The event's organizers also claimed that a fetus can learn 500 words this way while still in the womb, although there is no evidence to support this. <laughs> One of the participants of the event even argued that homosexuality was a result of gender expectations at birth, explaining that if a mother gives birth to, um, thinks that she is going to give birth to a girl, but instead gives birth to a boy, that child could grow up to be homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. What is by the way, I, I we missed the donation. Um I forgot to read a super chat. We will read that right after we finish the soon. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. We will definitely do that. Um thank you, D, for showing and remind me of that. Um what the hell is this? What is this? I don't understand. So hold on. What's yeah. happening? There we go. Um there was well, we know the RSS, right? We're here at Atheist Republic, we have had some run-ins with people from the rss um and so obviously like you know large hindu nationalist paramilitary organization they have tons of sub branches right um, probably a, a million little sub organizations and they have some that are dedicated to women right so there was a women's branch of the rss that had an event and the event was to teach they'd happen in new delhi to teach pregnant women the importance of having cultural pride and nationalism and they had a lot of interesting things to share with women about how to take care of their fetuses and their embryos and the babies and how to make them not gay and how to make them like lord rama and have pride in their country and understand basically they were like they wanted to teach children in the womb that country and nation are most important and i'm like hmm sounds a little fascist <laughs> you're fascism. muted fascism fascism yeah. is now making it to the womb That's yeah fascism <laughs> Fascist fetuses? A fascist, fascist fetus? That should have been the title. Fascist fetuses. Fascist <laughs> fetuses. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, fascist fetuses. Because they were there at this event to, quote, discuss women's active role in the restoration of the country's glory. Oh my she God. also urged women to, like, follow the, the role of, like, different hindu leaders or saints being like you know they want them to have the the qualities of hindu leaders and um then they said uh in addition the body's co-convener claimed that women would be happy if they could give birth to children like lord rama who are bound to duty towards their parents and the country which if you guys are not familiar with the story of the ramayan ramayan um it is basically just like singularly fixated on familial piety um and i tried to read it or watch an adaptation of it and this is it's just like completely about how family and life is stratified very stratified and you're completely duty bound by piety to just do whatever the hell your older brother or your dad or whatever whatever says because you have to because they're your brother it's like uh, not a good, I don't know, moral system in my opinion. Um, anyways. 
Um, one thing that I thought was really funny was this idea that um, if you think that your baby is going to be a girl, if you're like having your pregnancy, you're like, oh my God, I'm just convinced it's going to be a girl. It's going to be a girl. It's going to be a girl. And then you have a son. Uh, that son is going to be gay. <laughs> what, it, uh, what is it with uh, nationalists and being so homophobic? Why do they go hand in hand? Because they don't make babies, I think. I think that's the only, I think that's the biggest thing. Um, I'm assuming that's the biggest thing. That's why a lot of communists were super homophobic and, yeah, did very bad things to homosexual people. Uh, is because they're not productive, literally. But I it's so, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I tried to do a mid journey of fascist fetus baby. Uh, no, fascist Hindu fetus. And it told me the word fascist is banned. So I can't do that. Well, damn. Um, so uh, one thing that I thought was super funny when I was like reading the quotes from this meeting that happened is it's just so easy to imagine in a um, certain bad man's German accent. <laughs> Like, we are going to teach the... F I can't do a German accent. Like, we are going to teach the fetuses that we must restore the country's glory. <laughs> <laughs> what? The fetuses are duty bound to the country and the family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is... Uh, read what Gaijin American is saying. A Gaijin American is saying, why not arrange marriages of lesbians and gay men so we can make babies for the empire? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Well, because they might not want to actually do it with each other. This is the problem. That's I'm actually getting some. I'm getting some uh, pictures from Mitchurney, but for nationalist fetus Hindu, it, it's oh, working on okay. it. Okay. Okay. We'll see what it's, it's thinking. In thinking. Uh, can you read some of the um, start comments while this is yeah. baking in Spuha the oven? is reminding everyone to smack the like and subscribe to the channel. Yes, guys, make sure to like the stream. It's free. It takes less than a second, and it really helps out our work and our community. Um, and Secular Sakai is saying $30. We gave $5, first of all. Thank you for the super chat to say $30 to Operation Iranian Renaissance. P.S. Is it cool if I make more Spanish language videos? Yes, Sakai, I'm going to reply to your messages um, probably this afternoon. Um, sorry about that. But $30 to Operation Running Renaissance, which means that I can find out what our total is if you give me a quick uh, second. Yeah, do you I'll have... do the... Yes. I got this from Mid Journey right now. I what the this. hell am I looking at? <laughs> You're looking at Hindu nationalist babies. We're we're looking at the the future glory of Hindustan. That's what we're looking at. Hindustan, yeah, yeah. Which so, one do you like the best out of all these images? I think I like the one on the bottom right the mo most. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. It's the cutest one. This one is just weird. I don't know what's happening with the tummy there, but this one is good. It actually did a pretty good job producing these babies. Like babies are shaped really weird. The proportions yeah. are super weird. So to be able to yeah. create that is actually pretty impressive. Yeah, that's pretty good. This one has, what is this? I don't know. Get my best selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.